26. We thank you for joining us for the PIX 11 Morning News. I'm John Muller. And I'm Kirsten Cole in for Vanessa Freeman. Of course, we want to apologize for the fact that this is a Monday. But <laughs> here we are with you. We're all in it together. Let's start this morning with a look at your weather and traffic. Jill Nicolini in for Marissa Torres. Good morning. That was so cute, Kirsten. <laughs> all right. Check in here with weather here. Temperatures in the 70s, 73 in the city, Fort Lee 75. So back to those summer conditions and feels like normal summer, right? 66 Newburg may catch a 60 or two. Belmar 74. West Hampton 67, but take a look. Our 24 hour temperature change if you're waking up in the city, six degrees warmer already here. So, again, that muggy humidity unfortunately is back to stay for the next few days. Satellite radar now throughout the morning, we saw some pop up showers here. Uh, I ran into some of them on Long Island, so did Joe Punday, our weather producer through New Jersey, also causing some flooding on the roads, but again, very isolated uh, showers. Let's check in now, of course, uh, with what's happening here for the day planner. And starting off in the 70s, we're looking at a high of 90. Can't really out a pop up shower or two throughout the day, but unfortunately, that muggy weather is back to the roads and rails right now. I want to point out some flooding actually, as we just mentioned here. The Hutchinson River Parkway uh, closed completely at Wolf's Lane. This came through just a little while. 25 different summer rising locations will offer the COVID shots to eligible students. PIX 11's Anthony DiLorenzo is live in Bay Ridge with more on this program. I know they continue to try to reach this population, Anthony. Or on this program, I know they continue to try to reach this population, Anthony. But there were some areas that picked up close to three inches. And where does that put us? In the third spot for wettest July's on record, we're at 10 inches and the month is not even over just yet. And Kirsten mentioned hey, So here, a look at our visibilities. Notice we're down to zero. We have light winds. We have still dealing with a lot of moisture and the sky is pretty clear. So it's allowing for visibility to be hampered a bit. We'll tell you when the visibility will improve. On the east side of town, FDR Drive to be exact. It's northbound after 96th Street. Had this crash out there for at least an hour and a half now. Unfortunately, delays are starting to be build uh, opposite side of town west side highway that's looking good and once you pass uh, up here in the BQE to start westbound it's an accident at Tillery Street so unfortunately we are seeing delays through the area it did not widespread but it will be enough to maybe uh, you'll see some lightning strikes and whatnot and rumbles of thunder as well we have a series of those cold fronts coming through providing us with that wetness and even as we head into Thursday chance of some more showers and storms and then we eventually see those numbers rise again to near seasonable norms by the weekend. Jill, what you got for us? Right now, just some traffic on the LIE. Nothing major as of yet. It is Queens, so unfortunately, westbound traffic already started to build. This is Thank you so much, Daisy Ann. Taking a look at the FDR Drive, uh, this crash northbound after 96th Street remains. It's been about two hours now, so some heavy delays here. Uh, crossing check right now on a Monday morning, not so bad. Here's a live picture at the George. Yes, there's some traffic, but not too bad. Only five to 10 minutes. That wind shift is important because you'll notice that it'll feel much cooler than that uh, when you compare today, tomorrow, as well as Wednesday. So our future has a few spotty showers quite possible, certainly not a washout. Much of the action, if any, will be south of the city, especially across New Jersey. Can't rule out a few sprinkles, though, across the five boroughs, but again, not a washout. Tuesday, though, Tomorrow night into Wednesday, some more showers, and then later in the day, again, scattered temperatures at around 90 today. In the city, a little bit uh, cooler further east, overnight lows. We're in the Coming up in the later hours of the PIX11 Morning News. Check in with Dan and Betty, see what they're working on. Morning, guys. Welcome right. back, Betty. Thank you. Good to be back. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are continuing to follow the latest with the Senate's possible infrastructure deal. All right, top of 7 o'clock. It's a Monday. Yes. I know. Monday. Feeling it. Thank you, guys. Gosh, I'm Betty Glenn. I'm Dan Manorino, by the way. Welcome back. Good to be back. Good to yeah. have you. Well, Rested. Yeah, somewhat. <laughs> you never truly are. I know. On a Monday, right? It's tough coming back. River Crossings, taking a look. It'll cost you five to ten minutes at the Holland, ten to fifteen at the Lincoln. And so it's good. Betty had to step away, so it's good to have you here. Yeah, great to be here. We had an action packed weekend at my house, mm -hmm. too. You know, Kirsten Cole in for Betty. Why, yes. with friends, other people are cutting loose until four o'clock in the morning with like a sound yes. system and disturbing everybody right. who wants to sleep. Right. Regulation is key. Yeah. But like, I think we experienced it during COVID, the, the, the adult beverages to go right was a good mm. test of like drinking while you're on the streets right. and then I was also in Florida where you were you could buy a margarita and you could walk along these piers in Tampa and St. Petersburg and so you're walking around freely with a drink yes there should be some regulation but it works right 
Right. And then, you know, then you feel good to dance. But you've had those, like you watching. know, all those families around Washington Square Park that have really been That's sort different. of yeah. suffering over the past few yeah. months because it's it's become a super gathering spot. Right. Um, and, it, and it's really, that needs to be sort of regulated yeah. a mm -hmm. little bit better. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what happens. But let continued. the people dance. Let the people let them dance. dance. Let them cut yes. loose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'll be nice with that uh, 70 degree dew point. <laughs> a good sweaty night in a tent. You'll like that. Right. Good times. Yeah, that's cool. I though. know. Real cool. I'm obsessed yeah. with the Intrepid. I have like this fascination with the Intrepid. Rebecca, thank you. Thanks. And uh, we got Kirsten Cole pinch hitting this morning, so it's good Thanks to have so you here. Thanks for being here. I'm still trying to figure out this chair, though. <laughs> I told you, I'm having like, what do you what do you do with the legs? Like that. Like, nope. like this? That works. <laughs> that works. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because I'm trying to make sure that none of the spankage shows. Here, I'll do it with you. All right. Here okay. We go. <laughs> there we go. This feels or cross at the ankles. This feels so natural. Cross at the ankles. Oh, like a lady. <laughs> like, like a lady. Got it. Like a lady with Mental a lowercase L. L. And uh, we got Kirsten Cole pinch hitting this morning, so it's good Thanks to have so you much here. For being here. I'm still trying to figure out this chair, though. <laughs> I told you, I'm having like. What do you What do you do with the legs? Like that. Like, no. like this. That works. <laughs> that works. Yeah. Okay, because I'm trying to make sure that none of the spankage shows. Here, I'll do it with you. All right, here okay. Here. This is a a, a long-running operation in order to get the plane there by land, by sea. Definitely not by mm -hmm. air, though. We have Long Island for nearly a week now. Remember Friday we interviewed the rescue organization that said they were Strong near. Island, yeah. They were very close to capturing them. Well, it seems like this bull is very elusive, still steering clear of capture. The 1,500-pound bull has been nicknamed Barney and foundation for other workplaces as well. So it's like all the city workers are meant to be vaccinated mm -hmm. or face testing, and it sort of gives a roadmap to a lot of these organizations there, as they bring people back. There were some reports that um, the mayor was having some private conversations with private companies that were not city-run and urging them to get vaccinated as well. So we'll see how that all plays out. In the meantime, though, it is 1040. Let's get a check of your forecast.